What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Bloom Coffee Fantasy Football Podcast. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Wave Wire Queen. Today's episode, we're going to talk about some great buy low trade targets in fantasy football. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We have a lot of great content, which will help you prepare every week for your fantasy football games. Let's talk about these buy low trade targets. Now, these players are great options in a redraft or a dynasty league. This is a variety of players from rookies to veterans. And these players value is slightly lower than what we anticipated to start the season. However, I anticipate their value to increase. But right now, some managers simply may be frustrated with some of these guys. But you're going to take advantage of that and make some moves and add some players who will have great value for you going forward in fantasy football. Coming in at number five, we have Juju Smith-Schuster, wide receiver with the Chiefs. Juju Smith-Schuster, in my opinion, is the clear-cut number one wide receiver for the Chiefs. He is um, a veteran. He obviously has more experience and is more proven than the other wide receivers for the Chiefs, um, he'll be the most reliable one. Thing is, he is still developing a rapport with Patrick Mahomes. So right now, it's kind of up and down, and there may be a manager who is ready to move on from him. Why not have the new number one wide receiver for the Chiefs on your side? So if you can trade for Juju. It's not going to cost you a lot because right now when you look at the stats, three games in, it's nothing spectacular and to go crazy for. But again, you want to anticipate things changing and getting better, which it will later on this season. So definitely um, try to check for Juju Smith-Schuster on the season so far. He has 19 targets, 14 receptions, 178 yards. Nothing to be, you know, nothing to go crazy over, okay? But again, I do expect that to change as him and Mahomes continue to develop a rapport and get that chemistry, which is going to make Juju an even better wide receiver for the Chiefs. Another great buy low trade target, and this is even more so for a dynasty league, is the Tennessee Titans wide receiver, Traylon Burks. Obviously, there has been a lot going on since the Titans drafted him. The way A.J. Brown is playing, the way the Titans have played so far this season, it's like, damn, did we make a mistake? When you look at the numbers, yes. However, cannot take it back. No backsees, no trade backs, no take backs, none of that stuff. So, they're left with um, Robert Woods and Burks and some other guys. Burks has the talent. He simply does. And at some point, he will be the true number one wide receiver for the Titans. And he's starting to get more involved. You're seeing him get more confidence. And you're also seeing the organization and Ryan Tannehill slightly develop a little more confidence in him, which makes him a very good option to trade for in a dynasty league right now is the time because i promise you most managers are done and fed up with trailing burks but again you're starting to see him play a little more and he's getting on the football field more and he, you're starting to see those signs so far on the season 13 targets eight receptions 115 yards nothing to be super shocked i mean, nothing to be super excited about However, I anticipate those stats to get even better. I don't envision the Titans having uh, another good game like week three. The team is simply not that great anymore. And so you may see the younger guys playing even more, which is going to benefit Traylon Burks. So if you can trade for Burks, go on and do so. He's a great buy low option, especially in fantasy football. I promise you, you won't regret it. And again, in a dynasty league, you want to have a lot of young talent on your side. Another great option is the talented Chris Godwin, wide receiver with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Godwin is just super 
skilled. He is one of the most skilled wide receivers in the NFL, probably one of the most skilled that Tom Brady has ever played with. He is dealing with some injuries. You know, he came back to me much earlier than what I expected, and I'm sure most people didn't expect him to to come back as early as he did. He's back, right? And then what? Week one, injures his hamstring. So you know those are tricky injuries. And right now, people were hyped about Godwin. He wasn't even being drafted in his normal draft position because of the injuries and, and, and his availability being up in the air. Then he starts, then he gets hurt, and now he hasn't played since week one. And it's very frustrating. So he's a player who, when healthy and on the football field, he can be a top 15 wide receiver. Sometimes statistically, when you look at it, he's definitely playing and producing top 10 numbers, but most people don't really check for Chris Godwin because he's not flashy. He's just, he's just getting those first downs for you. He's just doing his job and it's low key and, and it's quiet, but it's efficient and effective and produces for you every year in fantasy football. So why not get a guy like that? He's just sitting right now, probably on someone's bench and they're fed up. You may look in the league and somebody's crazy enough to drop him. Then you go and pick him up. Cause I do expect him to be back soon, but again, the hamstring injuries are tricky right now. You know, Mike Evans was out week three and in God, when we just don't know when he's going to return, but if you can, make a trade for him, it's not going to cost you much help. It's going to cost you pretty much damn near nothing because, again, he's not on that football field. He's not healthy. There's a lot of uncertainty as to when he's going to be healthy. So this is the time to make a move and grab you a top tip, top 15 wide receiver who can sneak into the top 10 in most seasons in fantasy football. Coming in at number two, we have – Brees Hall running back with the Jets. Brees Hall is starting to get on the football field a little more. You, When you look and compare um, the snap percentage and the productivity between him and Michael Carter, he is more efficient than Michael Carter. Currently, he is averaging um, 41% of the snaps per game, which isn't bad for a rookie. And you know how rookie running backs – uh, sometimes struggle in coverage. However, Reese Hall has looked really good. And again, right now, Michael Carter is the lead back. But at some point, I'm saying it prior to the season, and I'm still saying it, Reese Hall is going to take over that backfield. And that is just what it's going to be. So if you have Michael Carter, you may want to be the one to reach out and call someone who has Reese Hall. Call that manager who has Reese Hall and see how can you get Brees Hall on your side? Or if you are interested in getting Brees Hall, because he's probably going to have a very good second half of the season, you need to try to get him right now while it's not going to cost you much at all. So put that claim in for Brees Hall. Again, he's better than Michael Carter on the season so far. 21 rush attempts, 112 yards, averaging 5.33 yards per carry. Receiving wise, he is definitely involved. So think about it. He can be an every down back. That's the kind of running back you want on your side, an every down running back. 21 targets, 13 receptions, 101 yards, and one touchdown. Go on and get Brees Hall. I promise you it's going to pay off. And another great by low trade target is Travis ETN running back with the Jaguars. Very shocking, right? This is essentially his rookie year. Um, expected him to be much better. And that was based on James Robinson might not be available to start the season. James Robinson is like, oh, hell no. I'm not about to miss any time and have my job in jeopardy because someone else is out there on the field and I'm not. And they go out here and they light it up and play extremely well. No, 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 no. James Robinson is looking very good. He's looking great. I always question why um, the Jaguars drafted Travis Etienne when Travis Etienne, when um, Robinson didn't play bad, he played very good. So I know Trevor Lawrence and Travis played together in college, but still it just wasn't a, a, a pick that they needed to do. And now you got um, Travis with all this talent just 
not getting on the football field as much, but he is starting to show some signs and they are utilizing um, Robinson much more, but Travis can be a good flex play for you every week because again, he is involved, especially as in a PPR league as a receiving back. So if there's a manager out there with um, Travis ATN, they probably had high expectations for him this season, and he's most likely not living up to the expectations, probably drafted him um, earlier than what he is playing. He's definitely not outproducing any ADP or wherever he was drafted at because it just hasn't been great because he hasn't had as many opportunities to produce. But, again, pick him up. See if you can try to trade for him because he will see more um, touches, especially in a dynasty league. And again, in a dynasty league, it's probably someone who was frustrated. Like I had to wait all 2021. Now I'm feeling like I'm having to wait all 2022. And it's frustrating because they don't know when to play him because it's like, well, I don't know what to do. If you have Travis, hold and be patient. But if you can get Travis, you're not going to have to spend what you would have prior to the start of the season. So again, try to make a move for him right now, three games into the season, he's playing 43.7% of the snaps, which isn't bad. But again, going into the season, we all thought it would be much more. So far, he has 26 rush attempts on the season, 112 rushing yards, and he's averaging 4.31 yards per carry, which is very good. Receiving wise, he has 10 targets, eight receptions, and 81 yards. Love to see him get a touchdown. That is the difference between him having eight to 10 points and maybe 12 to 14 points. And really want to see him get a, a touchdown. That's what I want to see. I want to see it. I'm, I, I really love Travis Etienne's game, especially in a PPR league. He just needs more opportunity. Make sure you leave some comments and let me know your thoughts on my buy low trade targets. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on so you can stay connected with the podcast because we have a lot of great information which will help you every week prepare for your upcoming matchup against your league mates. Make sure you tune in on Thursday, we have a great episode. We'll be talking about potential sell high trade targets. Y'all have a great week. I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks for listening to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast.